Okay, we're making over our laundry room slash pantry. And this is the door that goes into the garage. It's a solid core door. And we have a doggy door in it when we used to have a cat. And a doggy door for a cat. I'm gonna get rid of this by putting a piece of door skin over it and then putting these pieces on top, one here, and framing it and painting it all one color. I think that'll be nice. And the other side I'm gonna fill with spray foam and cut a piece of the door skin out and lay in it. <laughs> Lots of glue. Gotta hold that thin panel down, huh? Yes. Gotta, gotta plug it up. Yeah, we have one of those glue bots. We haven't filled it yet. <laughs> I heard they work good. Yeah. <laughs> we should be doing that. So yeah, he's put this glue on. There is the, what is that called? Door skin plywood. And uh, he's got it all around there too. Here's what it looks like so far. We have it cocked around the frame and some little holes filled in. Ed's trying to dry the, what is that, spackle, whatever it's called. This right here, he put some in there to, so it would be even across. That's what he's doing over there. He's filled that in and he's trying to dry it. And then we can get it hung in the doorknobs and I think we're going to paint it in there. Right Ed? Just get that. You're going to paint it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to primer it. We should maybe primer it out here Ed. What do you think? I don't know. And he still... Are you going to... We still have this paint to take off. I don't know if we're going to just primer over it. See where it's peeling off though. We may have to take it off. Oh well. That's what he's doing over there. Alright. Here it is. With It just has one coat of primer uh, on it. I had problems with the smooth foam roller sliding. I'm hoping now that the primer is on. It didn't have trouble on this. The door was so slick that it would just slide. So hoping the paint, when I roll on this paint, it doesn't do that because it has the primer on there now. So we shall see. Okay, so we got the front all done. You've seen earlier now we're going to show you how we're going to do this back one um, this hole is not square of course they never are because they're hand cut out but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put three ribs in here one in the middle one on each side like this and they are It's tall as is this side less the door skin. So the door skin will fit in the hole. Yes. So, so what I did was I made a cardboard cutout that will fit inside this hole. And I'll cut it out the door skin. When I place these in here and then place my door skin on here, this should be flat. And then I'll just go around it with uh, wood putty, 
sand it flat and paint the whole door. But you're going to fill it with your... Oh yeah, I'm going to drill two holes in here. <laughs> and when I put it on there, I'm going to fill it full of spray that... foam. So it'll strengthen it if somebody kicks it. or and Mostly insulate, insulate it. it. Yeah. So that's the plan. The three ribs, just shy of the door, I cut a little bit off so that so this piece will fit inside, and uh, that should take care of it. We'll you just you fit it done. in there, just like that. my nail gun <laughs> see this lives good gives me an edge right here for that piece to set in this is as wide as the pe the door skin that's going to go on there so when this goes in there it's going to be flat then you're just going to fill spackle yep. cock whatever mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you're making a little trough to fill in with your insulation foam yes plus that gives it added strength so yeah. then the other piece will go flat over this and it should be flat enough to where I can put wood putty in and sand it flat and you'll never know that was there hopefully <laughs> If so, it's out in the garage. I'm, I'm not real concerned about it. It was the interior part of it. Which that, turned out very nice. Mm -hmm. So, he's going to go cut that uh, that piece of door skin out. He has the pattern like he showed you of the cardboard. Okay, I have my three ribs put in here. And uh, I'll put my piece here that I cut out. I have my four holes and I will just shoot these in there. And now I will, I'll cover this with uh, spackle, probably uh, sand it first. Well, you'll fill it first. Uh, fill, it, fill it with the foam. There's his little holes. <laughs> and then uh, cover it with spackle. Sand it smooth and paint it. Okay, I made my little holes here. So I'll put this in there, shoot down. you probably come out your little cracks uh, there. <laughs> kind of hear it when it fills. You probably don't really need this, but hey, we might as well insulate while we're here. I think it'll be good. Okay, and that, that'll do that. Scrape off that on the outside, yeah, huh? Yeah, when it dries. Yeah, just cut it off. Yeah. Okay, before I could get out here, he already had started working on it. He forgot to videotape it. I think he took a few pictures, but this is what it ended up looking like. It's real nice. He filled it all in, let it dry, all where he uh, put that patch plywood or whatever and and stuff and then he sanded it so it's just slick I'm getting ready to paint it so he went ahead and oh it's not it's not doing very good but I sanded he sanded it getting ready to paint it so he roughed it up so the paint will stick better 
so I gotta tape off the doorknob and the deadbolt I'm not gonna and the hinges we're not gonna take them off so I'll just paint it right on there this is uh, inside our garage so I'm not real worried about it and then it'll be done okay so the door is all done I hope that helps you out if you're wondering if uh, what to do if you have a you know like a hole or something in your door and you don't want to spend the extra money to replace it especially these uh, heavy doors so that's what we did Ed did a really good job closing up that doggy door let me see if you can see you can't even see where it was um, that's how he did this I'll show you the inside hello Andy <laughs> Let me get you turned around here. So here you can see the frame that he put around that Do little doggy door used to be down here. This is the door scan and we just painted it. So that's all done because we were making over this whole laundry room. So that's in another video I'm getting ready to post because it's pretty much done <laughs> but anyway I hope that helps you out if you have damage to your door you can do all kinds of designs it doesn't have to be you know big frame but you know you could do little squares but all right well I'm hoping this might help someone out all right till next time this is Debbie and Ed with I'd rather be camping <laughs>